Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be ranking all the Chapter 2 Season 4 Battle Pass skins from worst to best. Now, last season, currently when I'm making this was Chapter 2 Season 4, I did not like it very much. But I did grind out to get all the hollow foils. And I looked over all the styles and I made my final decisions. So yeah. And coming in at number 8, actually, we have the tier 1 skin of the Battle Pass, Thor. Um, this is not how you do a skin. I like it with the blue hair, which makes it a little bit better with the superpower style, but I was not a fan of this Battle Pass. I mean, Marvel's okay. I've seen, like, Endgame, and that's really it. Maybe something else a very long time ago, but... Even if it wasn't Marvel, I would still not be that impressed with this Battle Pass. I don't care if it's movie series. I don't care if it's my favorite show, like Demogorgon and Fortnite. I thought, and Chief Hopper. I like Demogorgon, and I, and in Stranger Things, the show, I like Chief Hopper. But in game, Chief Hopper's a no-go for me. So that's why I didn't get him. And that's how I base Fortnite skins off, how good they look. And so is not one I would run at all. Oop, almost fell from my chair. At number seven, we have Wolverine. His claws are okay, I guess. They all have belted emotes. I think. Yeah, I think. But Wolverine? I mean, I just wouldn't use the skin at all. It's like a skin that I might use if I get it on random, which I will probably have to use it, but... It's a skin that I don't enjoy using. At number six, we have the meme himself. The man himself. I am Groot. Um, yeah, we're not speaking about his feet. Also, the base style, I, gold and base are the worst for me. Silver and hollow foil are pretty cool. I know that's like the biggest unpopular opinion. But yeah, Groot. Looks better with his hollow foils, except gold. That is a tragedy. Never do that to my gold. But Groot, mm, he's pretty good. Then at number five, we have Dr. Doom. Oh, I have to switch. Dr. Doom. Yeah, he's pretty good. The God Emperor himself. He has the built... Oh, sorry. Groot's built in emo is when he gets Rock a Raccoon. Never use it. I never used it, besides when I got Racket Raccoon. But Dr. Doom, his built-in emo is you can only use it at the end game. Like, after you win, so it's very useless. The skin itself, you need the cape. Without the cape, it's ugly, in my opinion. And, yeah. Then, number five, Dr. Doom. Then, in number four, this is where we get into the good skins. We have the man himself, Tony Stark. Or slash Iron Man, as you're seeing here. This skin surprised me. Like, I was like, oh, Lord, have mercy. Tony Stark is very just, like, not good. I would never use it. But then when you see Iron Man for every style beside Hollow Foil, that's a disgrace, Hollow. Like, that's a disgrace to do to Hollow Foil. Like, Iron Man looks awful, Hollow Foil. But with his other styles, he looks cool. Especially Silver and Gold. Regular is pretty good. But I would say Iron Man is a good skin. I'm trying to think of the right word for it. Um, it's a particular skin that some people like and some people think it's good. I don't know anyone that thinks it's bad. But I'm not someone who thinks, oh, best tier 100. Oh, for sure. Yeah, that's just not me. Then, at number three, we have Transformer, or that's what everyone calls her that I didn't talk to, Mystique. She, the only reason she's this high, she'd probably be like where Dr. Doom is, but the only reason that she's this high is for her hollow foil and her built-in emo. The built-in emo and creative is so OP. Like, I am, I'm, I'm, I basically showed my friends with Mystique Zima who have it, my entire locker, because they started more recently. So, yeah, Mystique is very more of, it's, I would classify it as 
the most overpowered built in emote ever. Yes, if you shoot someone, it takes it away, but in creative, like when you're letting people try things out, instead of having to spectate them, you could just, oh yeah, I'm Mystique, transform. Then at number two, we have, yeah, it's Storm. I don't know how many people like this skin at all, but I love it. Every style, beside the original one you're seeing here, is fantastic. Punk is great, silver's good, gold's pretty good, and hollow feel is amazing. Storm, a great skin. Then at number one, and this is probably going to be like, oh, you just like sweating. We have Jennifer Walters. Now, the fun fact here is, I prefer She-Hulk over Jennifer Walters. If it was just Jennifer Walters, she'd be probably behind Mystique. But that built-in emo in a She-Hulk is amazing. I think the foil style looked better with her without the She-Hulk. But with the She-Hulk, they also look great. But the original and Crimson, definitely better with She-Hulk. Jennifer Walters slash She-Hulk, which I always call her She-Hulk, is a skin that I will continue to use. The uh, like Mystique and Creative, Storm once in a while, but Jennifer and the Iron Man once in a while. But Jennifer Walters takes that number one position for sure for me. Anyways, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you guys.